Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. We love filming our weekly news and shows and remember to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get the latest releases. Thanks for all your support on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and subscribing to our blogs on the website. Below there is a link to the latest cloud computing blogs. All our shows are on iTunes as podcasts. Below is also a link. And remember to connect and reach out to me and my team. Below in the description box are the links for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. I'm excited to announce that we are now in New York City, USA, and you can get in touch at New York at NelsonHilliard.com. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Limpicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. This week sees the FBI warn about attackers targeting Internet of Things devices with a public service announcement. Healthcare organizations are increasingly deploying Internet of Things devices to improve employee productivity and patient care. IoT devices that are being targeted include connected medical devices, routers, wireless radio links, time clocks, streaming devices, IP cameras, smart garage door openers and network attached storage devices. The global healthcare IoT security market is expected to grow at a rate of 40% through to 2021, up from 4.7 billion US dollars in 2015. Factors fueling the growth include increasing connectivity of healthcare IoT devices with caregivers and new access points for hackers to exploit. Therefore, implementation of security solutions will become increasingly important for organizations. This week sees Australia's Victorian State Environment Protection Authority in an IoT push. The department's cloud-first strategy supporting an IoT device's rollout to gather and analyse data from sensors, drones and satellites. The IT overall underway is seeing the department create a new data exchange to analyse information from potentially thousands of IoT devices in the field. The overall is part of a 182.4 million Australian dollars investment from the Victorian government to transform the environmental regulator's operations. It follows an independent inquiry into the EPA's roles and powers when it comes to preventing and reducing harm from pollution and waste. Last year, the agency kick-started a cloud-first strategy, implementing new software as a service applications as well as PaaS and IaaS infrastructure. The EPA also plans to combine data generated by smart lampposts and building sensors with satellite and drone feeds, for example, to gain a more holistic picture of the state of the environment in Victoria. This week we have a Cloud Wars update. Amazon Web Services is now bigger than its four major competitors combined. Synergy Research has estimated that AWS enjoyed a 34% share of the cloud infrastructure market, which includes platform services and hosted private cloud, increasing its share slightly thanks to a quarter during which it managed to grow faster than in previous quarters despite that big lead. Synergy did not provide exact estimates for Microsoft or Google, but ranked them second and fourth respectively in the cloud infrastructure market behind AWS. IBM slots into third place by virtue of its hosted private cloud business, which most industry observers consider quite different than the private cloud services provided by AWS, Microsoft and Google. This week sees blockchain become the fastest growing skill in the US freelance job market. Blockchain has emerged as the fastest growing skill in the world's largest economy for the first time. Since last year, blockchain-related skills have enjoyed quadruple-digit growth with its year-over-year -year growth has exceeded 2,000% for the past four quarters and it's experienced more than 3,500% year-over-year growth in quarter two. Some of the current blockchain-related jobs include distributed system engineers and developers in various languages and frameworks such as Solidity, a contract-oriented programming language for writing Eurythium smart contracts, and Node.js. Programmers proficient in C++, the language employed in coding Bitcoin's most commonly used client, Bitcoin Core, are also highly sought after. Other common jobs in the sector include Telegram community managers and white paper writers. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news and remember to like, subscribe, 
comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And also check out the latest shows with David Linkicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.